Hey guys, this is Lauren Productions, aka number 4673, and I am back in Autumn's Journey Part 3. I wasn't planning on uploading any videos today, but I need to make time pass because I am ridiculously hungry right now and that it's still four hours until it's appropriate to eat dinner, so yeah. Um this is what I'm going to spend these four hours with, maybe. Well, at least I'll use a bit of the time to upload a video. Now, let's continue with this stupid care. The with pathetic, pathetic, give strange names to animals, doesn't seem to know much about Ishtara or how it, the world works. Uh, is he referring to heaven kind in general or just me? What? Uh, I guess their food, food is half decent or something. What? No, 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 you're not sending me on a pointless inspirational quest. I am not a child. I can't even walk in this form. So we're planning. After that moment, blind, a blinding light flashed from somewhere where Kara was standing, and I flinched in shock. Whoa, Kara? By the time I had knelt down and worriedly grabbed his shoulder, the flash had already disappeared. In one smooth movement, Kev removed my hand and stood up without the walking stick. I hope you fall to the ground. His eyes still seemed focused beyond me and he slowly nodded to himself. Um, did your powers return or something? He extended his palm and lunged forward as the, uh, the ground slamming it against the hot stone. The entire cave shook, the tremor visibly and mental... And men Totally shook me as well as my ha heart, pound, heart pounded loudly. My hound pounded loudly. <laughs> my heart. I felt so paralyzed that I couldn't even scream. Once I found my balance, I looked bewildered at Care, who smugly flexed his unharmed fingers. I stared curiously at his cockshaw cock oppression. Oppression. I cannot talk today. Expression. So, he barely glanced in my direction. It's not exactly what I wanted. However, a portion of my original powers are and strength are back along with my balance. I can actually be, be comfortable in this form. He gave a dismissive kick to the walking stick and then promotely walked away from the altar. I made that thing for you! You ungrateful son of a dragon! Ugh! Jeez. Can we just leave him now? He'll he'll be fine on his own. We don't need to follow him around. I know that's what's going to happen, but please let's just leave. Please. I must start a small smile. Well, that's promising at least. Why are you so happy? Be angry. <sighs> what will you do next? Do what he ordered me to do and become normal again. I can handle this on my own. Ah. Uh. So you don't need to follow me. I was not intending to. Get out of my sight. I had to anyway. There is, there were no one. There were only way one night way out of the, that cave. But as soon as we were in the open air, Kat took off running with a grace and speed. Uh, I'm sure no real heaven kind could ever replicate. I blinked once, and sure enough, I was alone. Don't you dare say something like, I wish you could see him again, because we're just gonna forget all about that bastard. I scratched the back of my head, still absorbing what just happened. You're welcome. Burying my head in my hands, I shook out my hand in frustration. I was like expecting something from this. Well, a thank you would have been nice. Yeah. I tapped my sword hilt for reassurance. It's what a knight does. They help the weak and demonstrate their generosity when it is needed. Well, Cairns not weak anymore. He can definitely take care of himself now. I guess my duty's done. Mission complete. Just some experience as a re reward and that discarded walking stick. Deciding not to linger any longer, I started walking back towards Barry. My parents would certainly be worried by now. Chapter 2, welcome back! Alright. I 
are we always in the forest? Don't tell me this whole game is going to be the forest. Come on, you can afford more backgrounds. Alright. I tracked back through the forest, careful to avoid any more wild animals. When I reached the spot where I had previously set up camp, I decided to take a quick break to eat. I unwrapped my bread and cheese, poking half-heartedly at their grainy texture as I stared at the remains of the campfire. <laughs> What's that? What are you doing? What are you doing here? As I was about to take a bite, I had an odd feeling of discomfort and I glanced sideways. Am I really imagining things? I sighed. Karen, are you there? You don't have to hide. There was only silence at first, and then I heard a slight wash rustle into my head again. Seriously, you just moved to another location. I hope you, I hope you weren't going to wait until I was asleep to steal my stuff. I wasn't planning to do, any to do anything like that. Kale Richter emerged from be from behind one of the bigger trees. His expression looked conflicted, and I could tell he did not want to be with me again. Then go away! Welcome back. Did you miss me? No, but then I realized I wouldn't be able to find the next altar without you. Well, you're out of luck. I don't know the whereabouts of any other dragon caves, nor am I carrying more apple tarts if you're hungry. There really is no reason to stick with me. You'll need to get to another guy to find something else that can help you. But I don't want to go to the, through the trouble of finding someone else. And at least until I get my bearings, I have no clue where to get from here. A small idea fell in my head. Well, perhaps I could accompany Kara to Oliver. If I explain the situation to my mom, maybe she'll consider writing me a nice recommendation letter. Hmm. Well then, if you'd like, I'll accompany you to Barry. From there, we can travel to Oliver. It's a huge city. You could uh, probably find the directions to other elders there. Does that sound acceptable? He grumbled in agreement and sat back on a fallen log I was using, but near the edge, to leave plenty of space between us. Hey, what about saying, yes, thank you, that was so nice of you to offer something so amazing. You are truly a great person. No, just grumble, grumble, grumble. Man, I... Oh, you're pain in the neck, to be honest. My master always asks for me to interact with heaven kind more. Then go find other people. You can't see, but I'm pointing away. Go away from me. I don't like you. And I've already been with you long enough. Nice to know I'm tolerable to be around. And your master doesn't seem that bad. He has an interest in working with Heavenkind. He's most likely more nice than you, you douchebag. Oh, jeez. I guess he didn't like it when one, one of his pupils didn't share his point of view. I grinned wryly. At least he was kind enough to curse you with some clothes. I didn't think dragons normally wore clothes. Is that a spell or are those genuine art? Kia tucked in his shirt, suddenly aware of it. I think it's a spell. I won't wear it won't wear off any or anything, will it? He scoffed. I assure you the spell won't wear off for my clothes. It's just that I don't want to that I don't want to glance back during I don't know the heat of battle and catch you star naked. Will never happen. Jeez, why are you so interested in seeing me shirtless? If you want, I can take these right up. I'm not interested. <laughs> Quit being so full of yourself. <sniffs> please, no. I trust the magical substantiality of those clothes, so please keep them on. Besides, you'll stay warmer that way. Is this why I haven't kind of wear them? Something like that. I pulled off some bread and popped it into my mouth. Kerr watched briefly with interest before hauntedly averting his eyes. Let me guess, you're hungry as well. I don't know what heaven can consume, but I don't think I can eat what I normally would. As he preserved his lips, I handed him the rest of the bread. He arched his eyebrow in surprise at the offer. It's fine, I had a small breakfast and I'll be back in very soon. Without bothering to inspect like he did with the apple tart, Kerr crammed the bread into his mouth. 
I stood a little laugh since I had a feeling dragons had no concept for cheering. Heh, <laughs> he's smiling. Well, you're not gonna charm me, you asshole. Propping an elbow on my knee, I watched him with amusement. I was also a little unimpressed at how dismissive he was towards me. <laughs> Don't use weird words in the choices. Jeez. I have to go to Google Translate. Okay, if the f internet is right, I think it's to glare at him. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm gonna take the one I actually know what means. I'm sorry that I am so unknowing. <laughs> I lowered my voice to I imitate him. Oh, honestly, you I'm so internally grateful. You're the best that the heaven can have to offer, and I'm so glad you helped me, fed me, and led me to where I needed to go. Where would I be without your immeasurable kindness? Thank you. Okay, I coughed violently as he tried to respond and uh, failed, and I continued. I feigned a sweet giggle and fluttered my fingers towards him. Okay, it was nothing. You're welcome. After pounding his chest and swallowing loudly, Kurt tried to speak up. Before I could start, I shoved, sh stuffed uh, the last portion of cheese into his mouth. I kept my hand there and we changed a meaningful look. He doesn't like the cheese. The quiz his quizzical stare softened and I took a step back. Step back. It's nothing. We finish eating. I'm going to take a quick walk. I sta stopped off before I could answer. I approached the riverside. Oh, new background. This is beautiful. And um, crouched down and splashed my face as water, rubbing my forehead and cheeks. Then I inhaled deeply and ruffled my hair, careful not to snag on my braid. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I was supposed to be cautious, generous, uh, sorry, kind, just, uh, just honorable, and help those in need. And here I was, struggling to maintain my calm manner. There was something about Kerr's attitude that always got me worked up. Maybe it's the fact that he's fucking annoying! Maybe! Well, that and showing him some gratitude, him showing some gratitude would be nice. Or was it wrong for me to seek it in the first place? No! You did a fucking lot for that guy. Without you, he would be completely lost. Jeez. Oh, I still have a long way to go before I'm all like mom. How does she do it? I grabbed a flat polished rock and stood up. Rock. Rock. <laughs> rock and stood up, throwing and catching it a few times while I pondered what to do next. <laughs> first things first, I'm sorry I was kind of staring hypnotized at the rock. <laughs> first things first, Care will return to Barry with me. We need to stock up on supplies and figure out where the next altar is. I tossed the rock and caught it again. Does he expect me to travel with him the whole time, or just until Oliver? I wonder if I'm mentally prepared for this. Oh, you got free! That's cool! Gripping the stone, I threw it into the water at an angle, skipped a, few, skipped a few times before disappearing completely. I bit my lip, not pleased with my free hub achievement. I could probably get seven rebounds on a good day. Really? Really? I can only get two, and I've practiced a lot. But I'm also kind of bad. <laughs> I should get back. I wonder if Kaz already got impatient and left. Just as I turned to leave, I heard a loud splash and immediately whirled around on sheathing my sword. I angled the blade upward and winced my stand. Oh my. It's a beautiful water dragon. It, it looks like he's dancing. Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kinda ruined the moment there. I have to end the episode here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!